What's up, my ass over in Welcome back, 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 my ass over in What's up mga kasawarin? Nagbabalik na naman ako ulit ng walang sabit na si DJ Bird. Alam mo, pag-uusapan natin ngayon, medyo seryoso. Medyo career-oriented yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. May nabubula na tuloy ako. If you have a dream or plans to pursue long, then uh, you need to ask yourself what are the things to prepare. Especially sa mga first year. Especially, first year, First, um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an advice because iba-iba naman yung approach natin, iba-iba naman yung iba-iba yung pamamaraan kung how to make ourselves ready for this new chapter of our lives. Unang una, you need to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually ready. Yeah. Set aside na lang natin yung financially ready. Kasi, yep. Yeah, Reality bites. Talagang magastos yung loan. All the fees, all the tuition fees, all the materials that you'll be needing, especially textbooks, reviewers, aren't so pricey. But ikaw, magagawa niya ng paraan. But for now, as first year, kung naghahanda pa lang, pumasok, first year, first sem, unang pasok ng law school. You need to be tough emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. Second is you need to unlearn those type of teaching approach or learning approach na naranasan nyo or nakasanayan nyo sa college level. Kasi karamihan sa college level medyo lenient pa and uh, most of our professors hindi ko nila lahat eh, medyo may pagka spoon feeding pa rin spoon feeding diba? nagbibigay ng assignments, reading assignments meron din naman sa law school, ganyan naman pero more on a higher level self-reliance ika nga sabi nga nila, iba yung law school and uh, try to be resourceful enough to get those other books that might help you. Una-una, yung books for you to improve your English proficiency and mga related books about laws. Uh, mas advantage yung kung meron kayo. But it's not necessary. Pero kung makakahiram kayo sa mga higher level or you can get those resources without you know, spending a lot of money, then that would be great. Okay? So, merong mga libro ng English. Kahit yung mga libro nyo sa high school, yung English books nyo sa high school at college, especially um, English 1, English Plus, then that would be helpful. And of course, the basic grammar, the 20 rules of subject verb agreement. Kasi maraming nagtatanong, necessary ba yung magaling ka mag-English? Kailangan ba magaling English? Yes, you need to have a good speaking skills and of course, on how to construct your thoughts and ideas. Kailangan yan sa mga recitation, kailangan yan sa pagsasagot ng no? mga exam, especially kung um, ang binibigay din ng mga professor ay uh, cases. So, pag-uusapan natin yan sa susunod na mga sa susunod na mga videos natin. For now, ano na ba yung ang, ang topic natin? Ano ba yung dapat yung i-prepare? Okay. So, yun. Books for reference. English books. 
dictionaries and um, it's going to give you also uh, the books in advance na pwede yung magamit but depende pa rin yun sa uh, professor niyo kung anong ginagamit okay kung anong recommended books so ano pa ba ang mga tips na kailangan of course you need to improve your um, reading habit kung sa college ay hindi ka fan of reading hindi ka masyadong nagbabasa and uh, for now you need to teach yourself and practice yourself uh, to be self-reliant na kailangan mo talagang magbasa in advance mahirap pang mag-memorize kailangan mong mag-memorize yes definitely kailangan mong matutong mag-memorize mahirap pero kailangan and you need to have determin determination and try to learn. Tips ko lang sa pag-memorize. Um, kasi may mga professor, there are really provisions and law that is verbatim. Meron ding mga uh, statements or words sa law na verbatim talaga siya. Na kailangan mo memorize yung word by word, pati yung spelling, especially those uh, Latin words. How to memorize? Um, my way of, kasi iba-iba kasi yung tao. May auditory, may visual. Ako, I'm more both. Visual and auditory. Ginagawa ko is, the first time I read one to three chapters is hindi ko siya pinipilit na maintindihan agad-agad. I will not force myself to understand those chapters, those lessons that I want to learn instantly. So, binabasa ko siya. Pero, nire-record ko siya. If I have my phone, if I have a digital recorder, or kahit yung mga lumang recorder, binabasa ko siya habang, I mean, nire-record ko siya habang binabasa ko siya. Pangalawang basa ko is I'm gonna list down those words or statements na hindi ko naiintindihan. Yung mga words na bago sa akin. Especially first year. So, may mga words na na talagang hindi mo maintindihan kasi hindi mo naranasan o hindi mo na-encounter sa college ka pa. Diba? Or narinig mo lang pero hindi mo uh, alam yung uh, definite meaning nun. So, you need to write those words in a book. I mean, in a notebook or an organizer and then Google the meaning. Write those. Uh, sa pangatlong uh, pagkakataon is piniplay ko na yung record ko. Tapos pinapakinggan ko yung bilang beses habang pinapakinggan ko binabasa ko yung outline binabasa ko yung notebook na nandun na yung mga words na hindi ko naintindihan so parang music di ba ang music um, pag narinig mo is hindi mo nakakabisado agad hindi mo memorize agad yung lyrics uh, in spite na lang na uh, kinuha mo yung lyrics online at binasa mo at memorize so ganun din yung pattern along the way habang pinapaulit-ulit mong pinapakinggan it will absorb naturally and you will be able to grasp all the meaning by the help of you know, uh, repeating and, and playing it um, a, a couple of times with the help of your uh, notes na sinulat mo diba? so yun lang at saka sa unang araw may mga lalo na sa consti at sa persons you need to memorize the preamble okay and lastly is if um, you can buy or you can get codals or you can borrow codals uh, yung mga maliliit na mga na mga lipto parang 
ang dictionary. Katulad nito, codes. Um, yeah, ito, maliliit. So, nandito na yung outline, yung mga uh, provisions and laws na direct na doon sa section na yun, direct na yun sa ano na yun. So, maganda kung kumpleto yung codes ninyo. At available din yun sa mga uh, mga bookstore. Kung tanong na ako, meron ka yung codes. So, um, that's it. So, nasa puso nyo talaga maging abogado. At you want to succeed, then you need to discipline yourself and be serious of because entering law school is a serious matter. Hindi siya kagaya ng, ng college na ako. Sige, kailangan kong magka-diploma. Kailangan kong uh, makagraduate. Diba? So, yan lang ang aking may isi-share. Sana may natutunan kayo sa akin. And uh, this is your friend again, DJ Kirk. Peace out.